Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a look at Google Drive. So Google Drive is a competitor to Dropbox. Both offer shared cloud storage. You can create a file and stick it in a folder on your hard drive and it's automatically then mirrored on a server and then if you connect another computer to your account it will then be copied to there. So it's a way to actually share files between Macs and it's also a way to back up your data on a remote server automatically. So to get started you want to go to drive.google.com and there you can sign up for the service. You're going to use the same account that you use for other Google services like a Gmail account. And if you don't have one you need to sign up for your basic Google account. Then you're going to download some software and set Google Drive to be one of your services. Once you do all that, you install the software, you get this little menu here and one of the things you can do in this Google Drive menu is open your Google Drive folder which will appear on your hard drive. You can see it usually will be put in the sidebar but the folder is actually in your user folder and you've got desktop documents, downloads, music, all that. And you also have a Google Drive folder and that's where it's located and it starts off of course empty. So let's put something in it. Here I've got just a test file created in text edit and it's on my desktop. I'm going to move it into the Google Drive folder. And once it's in there, what's going to happen to it is it remains in that folder on my local hard drive. It's a perfectly normal file in a normal folder, except that a copy of that is going to automatically in the background be placed on Google servers in my Google Drive folder. Now I can see this by going to drive.google.com and since I'm already signed into my account here it's going to show me the contents of my Google Drive and there's that test.rtf file. So you can see that I have access to it on the web and I also still have access to it in the finder as a normal file. So I can do various things on the web interface here. I can select it, uh, say for instance, and share it with another Google Drive user. Um, I can organize it by creating folders and moving it into folders. I can throw it away. I can uh, preview it. I can do more things uh, right here. Uh, it's important to, note, uh, to notice that uh, Google Drive and Google Docs are integrated. If you actually have a, some Google Docs and you look at drive.google.com you're going to see your Google Docs stuff and your Google Drive stuff all in the same location. Now your Google Docs stuff will not appear in, on your hard drive as files because they're not files. They are online uh, documents. So uh, on the web-based interface you'll see both but you only actually see files here on your Google Drive folder on your Mac. So like with Dropbox this is a great way to be able to share files between your Macs. So say you have a laptop and a desktop. You would use Google Drive in both locations, sign in with the same account on both and you would have this Google Drive folder on both. When you add a file on one Mac it would be uploaded to the server and then from the server to your second Mac as well. So that Google Docs folder remains in sync between all your Macs. You can have several of them, even Windows machines of course. and that Google Docs folder is always going to try to stay in sync between those. So you stick all of say your work documents in there and you would have them at work, you have them at home, laptop, desktop and maybe uh, between Mac and Windows machines as well. So one of the cool things you've got here is revisions. You can control click on a file here in the web interface and go to manage revisions and then here you can see the original file and then I also opened it up just a regular text edit on my Mac and made a couple changes and saved it and you can see that's the current version that's in there that you see is normal. But if I wanted to I could select this version here and uh, revert to it or, or download that old version of the file. So your basic Google Drive account comes with 5 gigs of free space. So you can increase that uh, with a little extra money you can go to 25, 100 or even more space if you need it. So the question becomes which one do you use? Do you use Dropbox? Do you use Google Drive? Maybe one of the other competitors. Each has its own special different features like for instance I like Dropbox's ability to create simple little photo galleries. Uh, with Google Drive of course it's a nice integration with Google Docs and also the fact that most people already have some sort of Gmail account so with that single account you can just add this extra functionality. So I hope you found this useful. Till next time this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.